I think what we're seeing in the climate, I don't want to say a silver lining, lining because there is really none when we look at what's happened in this country, particularly over the last couple of months and, and year with all the things that we've all been through. But I think what the events have done to the security companies and security profession overall is making them much more better prepared, understanding that these threats are real and getting them to be in a better place, uh, hiring better people, uh, training them better, partnering with their clients better. I think this has helped to bridge the gap between a property manager or uh, a company and its security provider. I think we're seeing a lot more collaborative effort, which is great. Uh, I think that these efforts have done that. Uh, these incidents have done that. It's kind of forced that, uh, that that has happened. The other thing that this has done is it also has helped bridge the gap between public safety and private. That public safety, police agencies, law enforcement agencies now are relying much more on private security. Private security is also reaching out to the uh, public sa safety agencies to say, give me some information, help us help you. And that's, I think, a very, very, very positive trend.